So the other night, one of my biggest fears came to being. I had been trying to get back into running for, you know, health, exercise, all that good stuff. And it was the perfect night for a run. All was well with my world. And about a half mile into it, out of nowhere, this huge, ginormous chihuahua came running <laughs> out of a driveway and chased me half a block. And all I could think to do, I was looking for cars to jump on, trees to climb, nothing was happening for me. All I could actually think to do was turn around and say to it, it's okay, buddy, don't worry. And then I realized afterwards, I think I was really saying that to myself more than the dog because the owner actually came up and was able to take the big beast away from me. And I was able to turn back and go home afterwards for fear of what was gonna be awaiting me down the road. But we all can have that image of, of running, right? And most of us, we, we say that we, we run around doing all sorts of things, the race of our lives, right? We have a beautiful image in our second reading from Hebrews about running, running toward, fixing our eyes on Jesus, as the author tells us, with a great cloud of witnesses cheering us on. What a great image, right? But sometimes we also have to admit that maybe we're not always running toward, but we can also be running away from the chihuahuas of our lives that are maybe <laughs> nipping at us, right? That come out of nowhere. And for me, I'm not sure about you, but I want to run away from our first reading and our gospel <laughs> and just stay fixed on Hebrews. <laughs> the image of being thrown into a muddy cistern and sinking into that mud with Jeremiah. Um, certainly that was not something that he envisioned for himself when he answered reluctantly the call to be a prophet to the people. And yet because he was faithful to God's call, he ended up in the mud. And Jesus, saying he's not here to establish peace, but rather division and unrest, and he wants to set the world on fire. That doesn't sit well with me. I want Jesus to bring peace in my life and in my world. I don't want any more division. Our, our world is so divided as it is. Deep down, I want unity. Check the resistance. What is it that Jesus wants us to look at? Not just in the beautiful image of running, but in the cisterns of our lives and also the moments where division may have to pass. What does God want us to run toward in these instances? How are we supposed to have our eyes fixed when we end up in a cistern of life? Or in a situation where it's not clear where there might be unity? the whole notion of the cost of discipleship. We all know this to be true, that we would love that in the marathon of our lives, it's nice and smooth, without even sweat, without even panting, without any bumps in the road or chihuahuas at our ankles. But when we're honest about our lives and our journeys, those are the things that, as we say, make or break us. We've all had moments where we may feel like we've been in a money cistern or where we have a situation or a relationship in our lives that we've had to walk away from or that there's been tension because of a deeper yes that we believe in. Is that maybe what the division in our world is really about, right? 
that maybe there's this deeper yes calling us to take a stand and notice as we run along that we're not in the race by ourselves. And that truly to have our eyes fixed on Jesus or on the finish line is really also to be attentive to our surroundings and the people that we're running with or that are on the sidelines. Isn't that what real discipleship is? When Jesus says to follow him, it's not just to so focus on him that we forget everything else about our lives, but it's to follow him so so much so that we notice everything in our lives in the way that he can only notice. So that when we're running along, we'll see cisterns. We will see others sinking in the mud. And to be focused on Jesus is to not run away from that, but to actually jump in that mud and help that person out. And we know that that can cause division. That's exactly what Jesus wants us to be doing. That's the type of division that I think his life and mission are about. Looking for the other, toward the other. Looking for situations of of injustice and entering into that and helping. Right? That's the cloud of witnesses that we're really a part of. Not just people standing on the sidelines of life, but people, disciples, actively engaged in the situation that we call life, in the race of our lives. Where are we on our journey this day, in the marathon of our lives? Do we feel like we're running solo right now? Do we feel stuck in the mud? Do we feel like we're part of a cloud of witnesses? Are we cheering somebody else on? Wherever we are in that race this day, these readings speak to us. They speak to every moment that we might be in. And they encourage us to hold on to each other and to realize that we are not in it by ourselves. That this race that we call life is about running together. Sometimes waiting for the other, sometimes pulling the other along, and trusting that the fire of Jesus is behind us pushing us forward. And it's here, in this space, in this place, where that fire is stoked, so that we can have the strength to keep on moving, to have our eyes fixed on Jesus, but fixed on the world that is both beautiful and broken. May we be that cloud of witnesses, that crowd of runners that bring one another along to the finish line where Jesus is there welcoming us into fullness, the fullness that we call the body of Christ.